my name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a fantasy landscape background in Photoshop. So what I've done here is I've actually gone to File, New, um, and what this is going to do is open up your options for what your paper is going to look like, and just select US Paper, um, and go to Image, Image Rotation, and just go to counterclockwise, clockwise, but make sure it's 90 degrees, so that way it's landscape as opposed to portrait. So then you're going to go to your brush tool. Actually, no, you're going to actually go to your pen tool, your freeform pen tool. And this is down right, ab right above the text uh, horizontal type tool. You're going to hold down the pen tool and select the freeform pen tool. And with this, I'm actually going to be able to draw my, um, my landscape. But the first thing you're going to do once you've done that is to create a new layer. And this is just going to create a layer above the one you have. And I'm actually going to create a couple layers because you're going to need a couple. So the first one I'm going to do is just uh, the landscape grass kind of thing. Oops, I'm going to do that a couple times if you need to. and select a color. Um, I'm going to select kind of a really neon-y green color, kind of dark and a little unsaturated, just to give off that kind of like really unrealistic but like fantasy-like grass color. And so then you're going to hold down Option, and you can select Fill Path. Make sure you're using the foreground color as opposed to the background. Select OK, and there you've got your grass. And you can actually drag this layer above and so you're going to go to your under layer, and I'm going to select kind of like a purple, bluish color for my mountains. Okay, you can do that. Make sure it's connected. Like the, once you've drawn it, just make sure that your shape is reconnected, so that way when you fill your path, it'll fully fill. And if your layer is on top, it'll look like that, and it'll just make you mad. So <laughs> make sure it's on the bottom layer. All right, and actually, I'm going to drag this last layer I put on the very bottom, and I'm going to fill it with a dark. And I'm actually going to use gradient. So go to your, f on the left, you've got your paint bucket tool. Hold down paint bucket and just select the gradient tool. And what you can do then is select two colors that you want to be gradient in your painting. So I'm going to have black and let's do this like a really dark kind of turquoise color. And then you can drag it like that. And you can always refill the color if you want. Um, and one trick that people often stumble upon is that once you've drawn something with the pen tool, the path is still defined. So if you go to control and you click it, just delete the path and it'll vanish and you'll be all set. And I'm actually going to change the color of my grass because it doesn't really look um, dark enough. I'm going to make it kind of look, yeah, there we go. Okay, and you can hold down one, uh, the paint bucket tool instead of the gradient tool and just fill it. And then at this point, you can just add a couple stars in the background um, if you want. Uh, Photoshop has this really cool thing, this really cool Photoshop uh, brush called the Aurora brush. Okay, so the way you find it, if you can't find it, just zoom in um, to the top here. Go to this little panel right here. Click this little button on the uh, right and go just to brushes and these will pop up and you'll get this Aurora paintbrush tool. And it's really neat because um, of what it does, and I'm about to show you that. And just make sure you add a new layer. It's got this kind of like um, northern lights kind of thing. And at first, your picture might not look like this, um, but you can always go to filter. Um, and you can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. I'm going to try uh, 
I'm going to go to smudge stick. And this will really just um, give you a slightly more um, defined kind of effect. But skipping the sky for now, um, what's really going to define your fantasy landscape is your um, is your your what's in the foreground. So I'm just going to draw a really quick tree using the freeform pen tool, um, like this, and. You can be as picky as you want about your tree. Just make sure that it looks kind of weird because it's like, you know, a fantasy tree. So I'm going to do like a little curling branch like this. And you can add your roots kind of like that. And then you can fill your path with whatever color. Um, I'm going to do something weird like purple. Okay, and this one little last trick I'm going to show you is how to make some cool stripes on this tree um, using a, a clipping mask. So you're going to add a new layer. You're going to pick a color that you want, and we're going to add some lines to make, make it look a little bit more like uh, there's some stripes on this tree. Go to your paintbrush tool, select whatever size you want. I'm going to use a big, uh, big brush, and I'm just going to draw lines that will make this tree kind of have like a, uh, a bit of a pattern to it. And you can absolutely draw outside of the lines. This is okay in this instance, and you'll see why once I'm finished, um, because this has to be the coolest thing about Photoshop and the creative suite in general, is the, um, the ability to mask things. And don't be discouraged if it's starting to look ugly, because <laughs> it, it's gonna make all the difference once you create the mask. Okay, so then you can push Control, create clipping mask, and this is going to clip it so that your tree is striped. And then just for future reference, um, you can always download um, brushes online for free that give you star shapes and like planet shapes and stuff. Um, and actually I'll show you just one more little thing before I let you go. Um, just select another color, add a layer above your mountains, use the freeform pen tool, and just kind of do something like this to both of your mountains. And because your light source is kind of in the corner, as you can see it's over here, you're just going to want to have some shapes to define this mountain, because otherwise it'll just look like a giant blocky shape. And then just fill your path with your foreground color and create a clipping mask. And voila, you've got your beginning of a fantasy landscape. And you know, you can really get in depth with it, but this is just some tips and tricks for helping you out to make you know, your ideal fantasy landscape. And this is how you create a fantasy landscape in Photoshop. My name is Alex Cecilio. Thank you very much.